Hello, this is Steve Johnson, and welcome back to Realmscraft. This episode, I am moving on from area selections, and I'm going to talk about world edit and the brush tool. And I'm going to reset the sun slash time day. Ops can do that, but I actually ask you not to do it if there are players on the server. Right now, I happen to be alone. Okay, I'm getting a blaze rod, and the blaze rod is what I generally use for the wand object. So I type uh, slash, I'm sorry, the instant pickaxe and brush. So I'm going to type uh, slash brush and it gives me uh, a hint as to what I need to do. So I'm going to do slash brush uh, sphere and then I'm going to put the block material. So let's say uh, wood and then five and sphere brush shape equipped five. So now I can do a long distance Boom, and I made a sphere. And this sphere is actually in the ground. It is inset. So now I'm going to undo, and let's show that by doing, um, and now I can change my brush by typing slash mat, and then the new block material. So mat, uh, or you know, mat air. Air. And now when I click, boom, I've got a sphere of air. And I'm going to undo. Now there's a tweak with this sphere brush where you can do brush sphere uh, let's say plank uh, no, wood sorry sphere yeah wood five true and if I add true on the end and this is oh wait a second oh uh, I thought it could do let me let me just check my cheat sheet here um, oh that's funny okay um, I don't know why it didn't work. It's supposed to work. That's okay. Uh, let me move on to the cylinder because that's actually the one I use more. Brush CYL uh, plan, uh, wood 5 1. And now when I click, I make a uh, cylinder. And it's it's basically just a, you know, a circle. I'm going to undo and let's do uh, change the size of the brush. To five five. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's just do a full a new. Actually, you can undo a brush by doing slash none. So tool unbound, and now I'm going to do brush sill. Uh, what shall I do? Stone. Let's do stone five five. So the first one is the uh, radius. The second one is the height. So now, boom, it's five tall, and then it's got a radius of five. So. Why would you bother using this tool, you might ask? Well, um, let me undo. The first thing is uh, I'm going to show you, let's go north. And up here we're going to have a mountain range. And I'm not going to build it right now, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what can be done. Uh, let's go off this way. and you'll see that there is, well actually let's build a, let's get up to some clear space and I'll show you a little bit of what you can do with the sphere because it's really pretty powerful. So let's take the sphere and let's do um, brush, sorry the brush and do sphere stone 5, okay? And let me, I actually want to get somewhere a little clearer than this because I'm going to make something kind of big. And hopefully, not take too too long. I don't take forever. Oh, actually, this is what I was coming to show you. See this mountain? Well, this mountain is something I built using this tool. So uh, you can do really nice terraforming with this uh, with this stuff. And I'll show you a little example over here, and then I'll clear it out later, off screen. So you start by using spheres to create a, a base structure. And so let's do boom, there's your first one, second one, third one, fourth one. There you go. Okay, so we got a, yeah, you can make a awfully suggestive things here. Um, and yeah, stop chuckling. I'm not going <laughs> to, there we go, three. That looks a little bit less phallic. And there. And we can just keep on adding spheres doesn't even really matter that much how we do it but let's there we go 
Um, needless to say, making a giant cock and balls would be considered griefing. Please don't do it, or at least if you can't resist and have an urge to create something like that, uh, delete it when you're done. Okay, uh, so we've got a big hill. That doesn't look like a hill. It looks like a bunch of a bunch of spheres. So let's use the brush and do brush smooth. And the size of the brush is helpful. Um, and there we go. Now we can smooth out this material. So instead of looking like a giant ugly pile of spheres, we can actually make it look a little bit more like an actual hill of some sort. Um, by just sort of smoothing it out using this brush. You can make a lot more complex uh, structures, obviously. This is a very, very small example. Um, and there we go. But let's say that's a, it's a small hill. We don't really want our hill to be stone. We want it to be grass. Well, remember that cylinder brush? Brush, cylinder, I'll just wait, C-O-I-L, grass. Um, and let's do 5-5. Five, five. So we can take this and we can put it down here and paint, but there's a problem. You'll see pretty quickly. Oh, actually, I did 5-5. Five, five. I didn't mean to do 5-5. Five, five. Let me do undo and then brush, sill, grass, 5-1. Okay. And there, that's the problem, is that, sure, you can paint grass, but it makes a big disc. That, that's not what we want. So I'm going to undo, and I'm going to do a mask. A mask is a really powerful tool. Uh, slash mask, and then exclamation point air. And what the exclamation point does is it says, okay, we're not going to replace these blocks. So now I can color my hill and not screw up the surrounding landscape. And you can do that. I've, I've seen it does not work real well with water, and I don't know why, so you have to be careful with water. There's always going to be little quirks that you got to learn. Um, but here we go. Now we've got a nice grassy knoll. And that is, um, yeah, that's basically the brush tool. Um, it is pretty powerful if you're clever enough to know how to, to use it. Um, so, for example, por Let's make a road. Uh, brush. Actually, I'm going to reset it. Brush. Um, what will we make our road out of? Slab. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, brush cylinder. Slab. Uh, two, one. And now we're going to make our road. And that's not bad. So there you go. You can make you know a pretty good style. You can change the uh, block style if you want to. Um, so for example, let's uh, put an edge on our road. Let's do uh, s brush sill uh, stone brick. What, what was that one? That was two. Let's do three. I think three, one, and then mask, not slab. And now we'll see, look at that, look at that, ain't that pretty? So, instant road. I showed you how to make a road in a previous episode. Well, here's another way to make a road. Um, and it's it's really, you know, it, it makes a really nice little road. Uh, it's nice and, you know, it's level with the uh, if it looks like I'm doing a jig, it's because my keyboard doesn't always want to run. So sometimes I'll run, walk, run, walk, run, rock. Um, so that is the brush, but there are more applications, and I am going to show you right now. Uh, let me go home and ascend. And we are going to go over here and check out... Let me just get myself a... Super, no, that's not what I want. Uh, wand, that's what I want. Wand. There we go. Okay, so we've got some land over here. You can terraform and put down um, fields, all these fields. Very easy to do. Let me just show you one, two, three, four, and then I'll right click here. And left 
click here. Now you have to put down water because if your if your um, dirt is not irrigated, it will not actually let you do. Oh, I got a time set again. Time day. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Boom. And let me run down to the end. And uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I got to go back all the way back down now. All right. Okay. I'm not going to do the whole field. I'm just going to show you a little bit. So. Oh, geez. All right, that's fine. That doesn't matter. So we've got uh, our two bits of water and some dirt in the middle, but we need farmland. So you do brush, uh, f cylinder, three, one. Oh, wait, sorry, brush, cylinder, farmland, three, one. And then we do mask, not gravel. And then what we can do is we can come down here and boom, we put down some farmland. And we can actually just run up and down the field and convert the whole thing as long as you're slow and careful. Boom, now you got your farmland. And then setting crops is the next step. And that's why I need this doohickey. So we're going to come down here, do one corner. Do the other corner. Some of these blocks are already reverting because they're not close enough to water. It needs to be four blocks away. So I just selected the field. I'm going to shift one up and then I'm going to set. Oh, didn't shift. Shift one, one up and then I'm going to. Oh, I'm doing single slash. Shift one up. There we go. And then set crops. So when I set crops, what I'm doing is I'm changing those air blocks to crops. Boom, instant field. And I think I could even do uh, set crops three or set crops four and have them be further along. Uh, because crops, after all, have data values that represent how far they've grown. So you can, uh, any you know real medieval city would have lots and lots of farmland. You don't have to do it block by block. You can simply lay down channels of water and then go up and down with your mask set to not override the gravel, if you're doing it that way. Just put down the uh, Put down the farmland and then select the areas, go up one block and set crops, and there you go. So that has been a quick view of the brush tool, and you use the super pick uh, the, the the hatchet thingy here, the area selector, to use it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope your uh, wonderful nations in the realms have lots of farmland and lots of cool roads and other things, and that I helped make it possible. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Steve Johnson. See you next time. Bye bye.